here the flame tree barbecue which I already ordered shower in that app and I just gotta press the button tell them here prepare the food okay okay they're preparing it especially because of the virus you order and you pay for it on the um through the Disney app I got the pulled pork sandwich with baked beans if I'm gonna try something different. Almost got that. Maybe next time. Actually I always wanted to eat here because sorry. I always wanted to eat here, it's always smell incredible, so this is my first time. I'm assuming it gives you like a little signal that it's done. All right, I'm gonna wait, get the food, and I think I have a place to sit up there for you to eat, which I will head there after I get the food, and I'll show it to you. Wait, let me get a little closer. Looks like they have different aisles for mobile order pickup lines, so I'll probably get a number telling which line to go to. Quite a bit of people here. All right. Oh, is it ready to pick up at number three? All righty, I'm gonna go get it and show you guys. Food. Adventurers and explorers, returning from their river journey, please welcome Rafiki and Jamal as they sail the Discovery River. Okay, we're back. We're sitting at a table here at the Flame Tree Barbecue. And I have to show you guys this. I didn't know there was all this seating way back here next to the water and everything. I thought it was just a little seating out front. There's a lot of chair, chairs here to sit down. Now I'll show you the walkthrough of it all in a minute. Let's show you the food first. First the drink, and it's been melting a little bit. Doesn't look as nice as when I got it, but they had lime sugar around it. It's supposed to be a non-alcohol beverage, and there's the glow cube. You can either get this red or green, and I'll show you the menu in a minute, but it's Sprite. So grab your sauce, um, the, the straw with the sugar things attached to it, pulled pork sandwich, definitely smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's how it is. Little thing of beans. Alrighty. And of course, oh, well you can't see it now, but... I showed a little bit on there, but here's how much it was for the sandwich, and then the drink was actually almost as much, so this was about 20. All right, let's see if I could do this. Perfect. First, hand sanitizer. I want to get this all right. I'm a little dark, unfortunately. I gotta get a little closer. First, let's try this drink. Ooh, you know what? We gotta do this right. This is a Halloween, Hall, Hall, Halloween exclusive one. Did you dip it in? Oh, I gotta get one more picture of this, guys with the um, straw in it. I keep getting dark for some reason. You gotta get a little closer. Okay. No, if I get closer, it's better. Now I'm dark again. It's kind of weird. I think it's because of light behind me. I'll try doing it a little bit different. Oh, no, it's still dark. Let's try this angle. Okay, that's better. 
There. Perfect. Nice and light. Okay, let's try the drink. Ooh. Try a little. Ooh. Yeah. It's like lime flavored sugar. That is very nice, very sweet. Much more limey taste than Sprite usually is. Ooh, very good, but very sweet, but nice. All right, let's try the beans. You get a little cup of beans you get. I try some different other fries. Hmm. Very savory, smoky, robust. Hmm. Very nice. I like it. But here is the the main part, the pulled pork sandwich. It's a little dry. I have extra barbecue sauce put on it, which I probably will. I want to try it without it. Here goes. Hmm. It's just very good. It's a little dry. It does need the barbecue sauce, but it's it's nice. It's not overly salty. It's smoky tasting, and the um, stuff they put on top, which like an idiot, I guess my mind what it is. Um, remember that stuff is again. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. I like coleslaw too. I used to not like it when I was little. That on there. It gives it a little bit of sweetness too. Let's try another bite. Mm. Excellent. A little dry, but we'll remedy that with the barbecue sauce. Mm. All in all, the food's great. And all this extra steam back here, which I did not know about. So I'm very happy. I'll do a walkthrough and I'll show you all the seating when we're done with this. This is excellent. All right, I'm gonna finish. My hands are super sticky, so I got to use the towelette. And that's it. Okay, I'm very happy I came here. Finally got to the Flame Tree Barbecue Place. And I'm very happy with it. All right, thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a nice day. Oh, well, this isn't the last part yet. It will be when I show you a walkthrough of it. But anyway, I hope you all have a nice day. All right, bye. Here's the one pavilion where we are sitting in. And there's lots of Place is right next to the water. You get a good view of, of the Everest. Of course, lots of birds around. And this is just one of the seating areas. There's another one there. Right there, there's seats. And I think that might be a seating area up there, too. And there's one or two more seating areas up front. I've been coming here for years, and I had no idea they had this many seats. I thought it was a lot shorter. What do you think of this place? Wow. It is huge. I never knew this existed here. It's, it's almost five to five. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. I'm watching them come down that. What's that mountain thing right at That's Everest, I think. And they're screaming when they're coming down. <laughs> I would too. If I, they did a drop, here they go. Another ride up. All right. Bye. Get close down. Yeah. There's one of Mr. Bird's goes. Look at those cool chairs, guys. It's like different. It's like a spider in the middle, an alligator in the side, a fish on top, a turtle yeah. on the right, and then there's no oh, alligator still. But isn't that neat? Vulture. Sea something. I don't know. Spider, frog, spider. It looks like the chairs used to be blue. Oh, yeah. There's some paint peeling off. They're all the same, though. Oh, they're gold colored. Anyways, this is, again, this is the first pavilion. We were at least, well, I mean, not the first one, but the one we sat at. 
I'm gonna show you the rest in a minute. Again, here's the awesome view. Look at these cool things. But, uh, and this is where we were sitting. I guess you could say this is like the farthest back one. But I'll show you. I could not believe how much space there is in this place. You have all these seats here. Right? And look. Uh, well first, look at that cool bird. But look. look. And look how pretty this is. I had no idea this was as big. And the lady says um, it's really helpful because during um, lunch they're really busy. So, imagine it was all full. Hey, look, there's another one here. This is blocked off now. Probably they're not using it now because the virus, I bet. But, there's all this seating over here. There's at least one more pavilion to sit there. All this seating here. There's a pavilion up there where you can sit. Look at that. That's awesome. There's a pavilion there. And there's more seats in front. Another one there. So yeah, this is a, a much more larger place than I thought. I'll head up here for a minute and show you. First, I had no idea. I'm just amazed. I know I've been repeating it, but they go to show you can come here for years and years and there's still new things for you to see. Even though Animal Kingdom is my uh, favorite park now, I have not explored here as much as some of the others, but I'm getting there. So here's another pavilion. So I always thought it was just these seats in front. Around the corner is where you pick up your food and you order. Around there. So look, more seats. That's where you order to pick up your food. A lot more seats here. So you definitely have a good uh, choice of where you want to sit. Awesome. Because that's back down where I sat. Oh, look, you have another pavilion. And lots of um, cool water stuff to look at. Wow. This is awesome. Now that I know this is all here, I'm definitely gonna come in here if I if I if I can't just sit in here just um just to relax. If I have to order something, I definitely will. But it's worth it to um, get off your feet and just take a breather. That is very peaceful. I tell you, if I ever had a lot of money, I'd have something like this built. If I was like really rich, I'd sit by it all day. Some of these are blocked off. Probably because of the virus and maybe they don't need all that space. Not blocked off here, but it was blocked off there, so I couldn't get to this section. Maybe they still don't want you using that. I don't know. I don't really need to go down there. Alright, awesome. Lots of space. I like it. They'll head down these stairs this time instead of going the other way around. Okay, be careful going down here. You don't want to do a Gerald Ford and fall. Do you know what I mean by that? Just look it up. He had the unfortunate thing of falling more than once. Alright, 
that's where I sat in that pavilion, right by the water. And I ended right here in front of this little waterfall. Of course, you have a good view of the lake. A quick walkthrough. Isn't this cool? I tell you, you can come to Disney a million times, you always discover and learn new things about this place. Like I said, I never knew all the space was behind here. So if I can miss something like this, there's a lot more things to learn about uh, here at Disney World. Okay, and I'm happy I came today. Alright, I gotta get going. Um, let's do a quick wrap up of the food. It was good. Portions were smaller than what I would have hoped. Uh, if I would have got the fries, the fries would I think would have been bigger than the baked beans, but I want to try something different. I like the sandwich. I did like the beans. That special Halloween drink. It was nice. It was sweet, but it wasn't anything special. It certainly wasn't worth the ten dollars. But I thought try something different with the Halloween stuff. Why not? Let's do it. So I got it. Of course, I got that cool um, souvenir light it little globe thing that was in it so yeah, it was fun i enjoyed it and um yeah i like the food this place is a lot cooler and bigger than i thought and i've wanted to eat at this restaurant for years it's one of those things i never got to and maybe it came this is a cool place all right i gotta get going any comments questions put them below um if i think of anything else i'll let you know and i'll show the front of the restaurant one more time so you get to see it when i leave all right Bye, everybody. Bye. And here's the front again. It's right next to the entrance of Dinoland USA.